Today I'm going to show you how you can link your website contact form with Google Sheets and set up an email automation. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a contact form and if we just fill out the information here and I'll click send. Okay, so it's submitted and uh, got redirected to a particular URL. And next, if we check, the moment a form gets submitted, you will get a notification through email. And uh, the person who actually submitted the form would also get a thank you message. So let me quickly show you how exactly this can be set up. So for this, we are going to use uh, Google Sheets. So that is uh, how we are going to manage uh, the database. So I'll just open Sheets here. And the second thing that we are going to use is Google Forms. Now in Forms, I will create a new form. call it contact demo and I'll add three fields here go to the template section of zero budget club uh, scroll down to sections here you will find uh, a template for contact form uh, here it is Let's just open it in an editor okay so we have uh, the HTML form here and uh, we have also added the JavaScript for validation uh, so right here you can see there's a javascript for validation so you can decide what validation message you uh, need to show so uh, the way we have set this up these fields cannot be left blank uh, if these fields are left blank or if there are uh, any weird characters that are put in uh, then a validation message would show uh, so in this case uh, this is the validation message please enter your correct name uh, name cannot be blank uh, similarly for phone number it cannot be blank or if there are any invalid characters then it would uh, display this message the same goes for the email address as well now let's scroll up so the entire idea behind this is we're going to use google forms uh, but we're going to customize it completely so that uh, the website visitor they will never know that we're actually using google forms in the back end so for this uh, we have uh, we have to make uh, certain changes here. Now we have already uh, set up the Google form with the same fields that we have in uh, in here in the HTML form. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go to settings here and just uncheck this. And save it. Now anyone can uh, just fill in this form. Uh, the next thing we need to do is just click on preview. Right click, view page source. Okay, now this can be pretty intimidating, uh, but uh, we, can, we can just ignore all this gibberish. Uh, we have to take uh, a very certain steps here. I'll just do a control F and uh, I'll search for form action. So there is only one entry here. So here's the form action. And just after that, there is a link. So we need to copy this link, uh, everything between these inverted commas. I'll just copy it, I'll go back to the editor. 
and here you can see update google form url so we'll just update the link here okay now we have defined the form action uh, next we have to define uh, the name of uh, all these uh, input fields so you can see there's an entry and a certain number so this is uh, uh, this is uh, the entry that we have to uh, pull from uh, the google forms uh, we'll go back to the source code and now we'll just type entry because there are three uh, entry codes here uh, an easy way to validate this is like just ignore everything and uh, just look for whatever text is there in black so here you can see its name and uh, followed by the entry code for name uh, similarly there's email followed by an entry code so what we need to do is we just need to copy this go back to the editor and we need to paste it here repeat the same thing for email and phone okay so we are almost done here uh, one more thing that we need to change is like after the form is submitted uh, what is the action that we want to take so we have to redirect them to a certain page now you can create a custom uh, thank you page for that or you can just redirect them to uh, your home page uh, by default it gets redirected to uh, here's the location it gets redirected to zerobudget.club so if you want them to uh, go to your home page or any particular website or any particular web page uh, you can just put that link here so let's run it okay now let's test the system the redirection won't work in this editor but uh, rest of it would so let's type in uh, test1 let's put an email so send correct name oh, of course name cannot have numbers all right it's done now let's go back to our google forms here you can see there's one response click on this so the response just got registered Put that uh, the spreadsheet, create. And here you can see whatever is entered in the contact form would automatically uh, get populated in the spreadsheet in real time. Now, this is just half the work done. What we want to do is once an entry is created in Google Sheets, we want a notification email to be sent uh, to us so that we can be notified that uh, there's a new lead that has come in. And the second thing we want to do is we also want to send out a thank you email, uh, possibly with a pitch or uh, uh, maybe a calendar invite. So for that, there's an add-on that we are going to use. Uh, it's yet another mail merge. So I already have this installed. Uh, if uh, you just uh, you can just know uh, go to uh, get add-ons and search for yet another mail merge uh, you'll find it just install it there uh, once done uh, you will find this option configure form submission notifications so just click on this okay so there are two options here uh, one is for notification and another is to notify uh, at this submitted by the form so this is uh, what we are going to use for sending out the thank you email and this is for the notification email so in here I'll just here and under email template 
now this is pulling the drafts that i have saved in my uh, in my email so if i go to the draft section here so i have just uh, saved a draft And uh, we also have uh, a draft for thank you message. Here it is. So again, you can see this is the format to pipe in a particular value. So we can personalize the email like this. So what this would do is it would automatically pull whatever is typed uh, in the name section and uh, it will just personalize the email. All right, now let's uh, go back to our Google Sheets and in here, uh, we'll just click on form submitted. Uh, there's one more thing that uh, you need to check. So when we save it in draft, we also have to uh, specify the recipients. So in here, whenever a form is submitted, these two emails will get notified. So make sure you save those uh, in the recipient field and then just close it so that it remains saved in the drafts. So this is done. And here for notifying email addresses, I uh, will select the thank you email template here. And, and here we need to select email. Uh, sender name, so let's just make it budget club and there's a tracking option also available in here so you can track uh, uh, which emails have been opened or if, if any of those uh, emails uh, have bounced so it's also a way to validate if the email addresses that you have collected uh, whether they are genuine or not let's check this save and we are done so let's test it again oh i'll put in my email address All right, uh, I clicked twice, so it just got submitted twice here. All right, so it says the most status email sent. Uh, so let's see if we have received a notification email. Uh, here we go. So here's the lead name, the number. Now let's check the thank you email. So this is how the system works. Now we can uh, also make it a bit more advanced. So with this uh, process, just one email is going to uh, be sent after a form is submitted. What we can do is we can also set up a drip campaign. So after a form is submitted, uh, the Im uh, immediately one email goes out and then we can schedule other emails as well. So without any manual effort, let's say you want another follow-up email to be sent after two days or after three days. And let's say you want the third email to be sent after let's say five days. So an automation like that can also be set up. Uh, for that, of course, uh, we'll use a different software. Uh, I'll share that in my next video. If you have any questions, please uh, comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel for zero budget solutions and hacks.